Hello and welcome to uh, 5 minutes about ADHD and autism. My name is Vibeke and uh, I will um, uh, tell you a little bit about what I have learned about ADHD and autism. Um, I'm a teacher to, uh, to kids with special needs, inclusive ADHD and autism. Um, and, uh, and one day we had a project, uh, it was Christmas, we were going to make some hearts and stars and stuff to Christmas uh, with paper and uh, scissors and you know all what it takes um, I didn't have enough scissors so I told the kids to share that if a scissor was laying on the table it was free and uh, the other kids could use it borrow it um, but uh, some of the kids uh, did have a very big misunderstanding because of this because the one boy, uh, one boy was uh, cutting in some paper, and uh, and suddenly he he came up to something else he had to do, but in his head he wasn't finished with the scissor, but he put it on his paper, uh, on his seat, and and he thought now everybody can see it is still my my scissors. I'm not I'm not done with it, um, and then he went off to the other stuff. Another boy remembered what I had told him. If a scissor was laying, he could take it. So he took it and started using it. And suddenly he was attacked from behind from uh, by this first boy because he was so angry because he had stolen his scissor. And um, and they were having a fight, um, and I had to uh, interact <laughs> fast. Um, and then I, I tried to explain to them that it was a misunderstanding. And both of them went angry on me because I was a liar. It was not a misunderstanding. They both know exactly that they were right and the other guy has stolen it. I, I couldn't explain it to them because they were so um, they were so concerned about their own rights um, and they couldn't listen. Then I um, I found my good friend Doll. Dolly Doll. Um, and uh, and I have another one too, but I cannot control two right now. But I, I pick up my two doll, dolls, and um, and uh, they were experienced like by a little play, um, exactly the same. And now the now the two boys could see what was happening, and they could both see that it was just a misunderstanding, but they couldn't see it while they were in it themselves, but they could see it when it became somebody else or something else. Um, so uh, this is just a, a small example to, it is necessary to understand other people because else you will have so many conflicts and so many so much stress. Um, but it is a difficult thing to, to understand other people if you have autism or ADHD because autism only lets you see what is in your own head and your own thoughts. And you, and you don't have the empathy to see what is, or feel what is going on in the other one. ADHD, it just all went so fast then. You, you are hurry, you are thinking fast and you don't, you don't have the time to reflect about, hmm, did he do this on purpose? Or was it just a coincidence? Or was it just a, a misunderstanding? The ADHD brain don't give you don't give you the, the chance to reflect, to think about it, to mm, take a break. Um, you, your body has already reacted, has already been hitting someone, uh, telling something angry with an angry tone or something. But, but um, if you do, as I did, uh, put, the, put, put it out to something else, then it is much more easy to understand. And remember, it is important to understand. It is not good enough just to say, hey, say I'm sorry, give hands, shake, good. It's not, it's not enough because you had to understand that. And if, you, if nobody explains it to you, you won't understand it. It doesn't come by itself. You had to help it. And everybody needs understanding.